Welcome everyone. Uh, it is now 6.05, so I'll go ahead and begin my presentation. This is the Donnelly Vaught Rufus Street Improvements. It's the 2022 Bond Year 1 Contract 3. Uh, CPN 102.976. Uh, presenting today is Jose Orozco. That's me, your project manager for this project. The purpose of this meeting is to provide you the project scope and proposed improvements of the upcoming construction and the schedule. On the agenda, we'll be plan on talking about the project overview, the summary of improvements, construction information, proposed construction schedule, and at the end, we'll have questions and comments. Project overview. The limits, as you can see on your screen, are uh, Burton from Rufus to Donnelly. Uh, Donnelly, which is our longest segment, from Barry to Millet. Rufus from Barry to Forbes. Vaught uh, from Ramey to Crenshaw, and another section of Vaught, which is up against the other Vaught, uh, section, which is from Ramey to Millet. I'll explain the difference later in my presentation. Crenshaw from Wallace to Donnelly, Wallace from Crenshaw to 158 feet north of Crenshaw, the alley between Wallace and Vaught from Millet to Ramey, the easement between Wallace and Vaught from Crenshaw Avenue to 158 feet north of Crenshaw, easement between Vaught and Donnelly from Little John to Crenshaw, and finally the alley from Donnelly and Vaught from Millet to Ramey. Funding for this project, the bond fund uh, streets are Burton, Donnelly, Rufus, and Vaught. And the water department funded streets are Vaught from Millet to Ramey, Wallace from Crenshaw to 158 North of Crenshaw Avenue, and Crenshaw from Wallace to Donnelly. Here's a list of the summary of improvements of what we plan to do. Uh, we plan to replace uh, damaged driveways, uh, cracked and rutted asphalt, and missing or broken curb we plan to replace. The more specific areas for Burton and Rufus, we plan to install 8-inch water and eight inch sewer, but only in Burton as in Rufus, it was deemed in good shape. The pavement, the pavement improvements that we plan to do on these two streets are both concrete pavement with concrete curbs uh, and new concrete driveways with a minimum new standard of 11 foot wide, or we match your existing if you have a little bit bigger than 11 feet. We also plan to put sidewalks on both sides of the street, on both of these street segments. For Donnelly, we'll be installing new 8-inch water as well as new 8-inch sewer from Forbes to Ramey. There's some gaps in between uh, as the sewer doesn't go all the way to each intersection, but for purposes of this conversation, uh, I've left it to, to just Forbes and Ramey. The paving improvements that we plan is, for Donnelly are new concrete pavement with con concrete curbs. We also plan to have concrete driveways, again, with 11-foot minimum. And we plan to have a 5-foot sidewalk on the west side 
between Barry and Crenshaw and five foot sidewalks on both sides from Crenshaw to Millet. It, along Bott Street, we plan on installing new eight inch water from Crenshaw to Little John. Also, we plan on having concrete pavement with concrete curbs from Ramey to Crenshaw, new driveways, again, minimum 11 feet uh, from and match it and will match existing if you have more. And this will be from Ramey to Crenshaw. We also plan to have five foot sidewalks on both sides of the street in Vaught between Ramey and Crenshaw. The summary of the water department improvements we plan to do as part of this project. Those street limits are Vaught from Ramey to Millet, Crenshaw, Wallace to Donnelly, the easement between Wallace and Vaught, and uh, between, I'm sorry, from Crenshaw to 158 feet north of Crenshaw, and then Wallace Street from Crenshaw Avenue to 158 north, feet north of Crenshaw Avenue. The easement between Vaught and Donnelly and the alley between Wallace and Vaught and the alley between Donnelly and Vaught from Millet to Ramey. I've included the map on the side so you can kind of see where I'm talking about. It'd be these locations here, 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 and over here. It'd be the segments 10, 11, 8, 9, 7, and again, this segment of 5. Uh, the water, sewer, water and sewer improvements for these segments, they'll be getting 8-inch water in the roadways, and everywhere else will be getting in the alleys and easements will be getting eight inch sewer. There's a sewer that's being taken out of an easement and put into a public right of way uh, between Wallace and Vaught. And the pavement imp improvements on this include uh, new concrete pavement with concrete curbs only in half of Wallace and Crenshaw, at, or in Wallace from Crenshaw to 150 feet north, and new asphalt pavement in Crenshaw from Wallace to Donnelly, as well as in Vaught from Ramey to Millet. Some information on construction. Uh, why are we doing this project? In May of 2022, the residents voted to pass the bond program, which funded the streets for reconstruction, just like this project. And we identified these pro projects to partner with the Fort Worth Water Department to replace the underground utilities at the same time. How will we know when construction's starting? Well, keep an eye on your front door. There'll be door hangers from the city of Fort Worth. You'll receive two door hangers. The first one will say construction starts in seven days. The first one you'll see is typically from the water, for the water improvements. And the second door hanger you'll receive will be construction starts tomorrow. The inspector will include his or her business card and contact information on the door hanger. Their number is also provided in the slide and I'll have it later in my presentation as well. Will the water be turned off? Water will be turned off for a few hours while services are being transferred from an existing line to a temporary line. And then the service is transferred from the temporary line back over to the new line. The contractor will have uh, will knock on your door, let 
the customer know when they're turning the water off. Other questions we receive is, will you be replacing the water line service up to my house? We replace the city owned services to the property line. We also replace the water meter and water box that we repair in areas on your property. We do not replace water lines from the water meter to your home or business. The service line from the water meter to your home is considered, is considered private plumbing. And in the case of event of a leak or repair that needs to be done uh, by a licensed plumber at uh, the property owner's expense. If you see water running down the street, don't turn it off. Before you can connect, before we can connect your service to the new water line, we have to flush the new line so we can clean it. We'll have water running continuously until the inspector gets samples. And we have to have two consecutive bacteriological tests, commonly known as bug tests, to make sure that the water is clean that we're providing you uh, to your homes and businesses. How does the temporary line impact your home and water bill? The temporary line ensures that you aren't with you are not without water during construction in summer months of the continuous flow of water from the water is continuously flowing to keep the water from being stagnant during the winter months we continuously have the water flowing to keep the lines from freezing we also encourage you to keep your faucets dripping as well Will you need access to our property? The construction is in the street. If Fort Worth needs access to your property, we will contact you. Will, our, will your sewer service be disrupt, disrupted? No, it will not be inter, interrupted. New sewer cleanouts will be installed on your property line and the sewer cleanouts provide crews easy access if there's a backup or blockage that occurs in the line. If it happens on the service line, it's the property owner, it's on the homeowners, it's the homeowner's responsibility to maintain it. Here's an example of how the sewer line is shown. The city side of the line starts where the main goes into the customer's sewer cleanup. The customer's side of the service line goes from the sewer cleanup to the house. In the picture, you can see the pipeline in blue with the with the service coming out. The property cleanout we put or the first cleanout that's there is the is placed at the property line. And from here into the street is the city's responsibility. From here to the property is the property owner's responsibility. Will construction affect your irrigation? The contractor has to cap irrigation lines before construction starts. The contractor may ask property owners to turn on their irrigation so sprinkler heads can be located and flagged. The contractor will replace capped or damaged irrigation systems. Are you getting new concrete curb and gutter and sidewalks? Concrete curbs will be replaced on all bond funded streets within the project. The city will only replace on bond funded streets the part of the driveway that is in the city right away, which is referred to as the apron or drive approach. New concrete sidewalks are also included on a majority of bond funded streets. Will I be able to access my driveway? During pavement construction, there will be times when you are unable to access your driveway. You will not have access to your driveway when pavement is, is being placed directly in front of your property. When 
your driveway itself is also being replaced. You will not have access. The inspector and contractor will contact you prior to cons uh, their construction start so you can make arrangements to park elsewhere. And what happens if your property is damaged? The contractor will take pictures and video of your property of the property before breaking ground. We also encourage property owners to take the pictures and video of their property before construction begins. Damage resulting from contractors' activity during construction is the responsibility of the contractor. Will there be lane closures during construction? Yes, there will be lane closures when the contractor is installing water and sewer lines and during street subgrade preparation and paving. Signs will be posted to alert motorists. The hours of construction are from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, and if requested by the contractor, from 9 to 5 on Saturdays. We do not work on Sundays and we do not work on holidays. Will the city's trash truck be able to pick up your my trash during recycling dur uh, and recycling during construction? If your side of the street is closed on the scheduled trash collection day, the contractor will move your trash and recycling carts to the opposite side of the street so the trash collection vehicles can pick up your bins. Construct the construction phasing and schedule of this project. The typical process that we go through first thing that goes in the ground are utilities. And they're installed first, along with their new services. Uh, their new service connections to each lot for deeper, more intrusive mains. Uh, you'll see, like, in this middle picture, they to protect their own crews, they'll have uh, Trent what's called a trench box so that the trench does not collapse on their uh, crews. And once they're all completed, temporary paving, uh, temporary pavement repair is put in place. So it kind of looks clean, but unfinished. And that is the case because we have to do the utilities on this block and further down the road before it becomes feasible for the contractor to come in and do an entire block to get the pavement completed. Typical concrete construction process. As you can see, and I was describing in the previous slide, the picture on the left, you'll have the, the road down to bare soil. And after they've got the grade the way it's supposed to be, they'll put their steel forms and rebar in place and then they'll lay their concrete, as you see in the third picture. And then followed is their, their uh, driveways, the curbs, uh, or I'm sorry, the pavement and curbs are installed together. The driveways are finally installed. Typical asphalt construction process is a little different. We'll actually go in and put the curb and gutter in first. And once all the curb and gutter and driveways are in, as you can see in the middle picture, the you'll see the the prepared road, and then they'll come in and and uh, finish the existing street after it's demoed. The pros the proposed improvements. As you can see, what we plan for concrete roads will look typically like this picture, where you have your concrete road uh, with your curb, gutter, and your driveways and sidewalk. For, as for, pro for proposed asphalt improvements, the finished product will look similar to this, where you have your uh, new sidewalks, curb and gutter, and asphalt pavement, including your new concrete driveways. For sidewalks, we'll also, you'll see we'll have areas where we'll transition from a slightly wider to slightly small, narrower uh, to accommodate obstructions or other things that'll be in the uh, road right away, as well as accommodate the handicapped and disabled 
with uh, ADA ramps. This will be at, typically at your intersections. The schedule that we have proposed, the contractors proposing to start construction this March uh, 6th. They plan to start at the southern, southern section of the project along Rufus, Burton, and Donnelly. And as they finish with their utilities in that section, they'll be moving on to uh, Crenshaw, Donnelly, Wallace, and Vaught, while the contractor jumps back in, or a different crew of contractors will jump back in and start on the paving in the southern section while the utilities are being installed in the northern section. And then finally, they'll be finishing with the alleys and easements, which are which do not include paving, but do have the you, the sewer. And we're anticipated to end construction in April 2024. At this point, I'll open it to questions and comments. If anyone has a question, uh, you'll need to unmute. Hello. Yes, can I can hear you now. Okay, on, on the driveways, when you say that replace driveways, you're talking about the existing driveways, or uh, what, are you, what are you talking about when you say replace driveways? The driveways that we have, uh, they're currently at the properties. We're, we will be replacing those driveways. Those driveways are within the right-of-way. We will not re be replacing all the way to your garage. We'll be only replacing the apron section down by the street. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Will will uh, we be able to uh, have additional work done besides what you're doing through the contractor? That's something you can have additional work done, but you, you'll have to do it privately, since this is uh, public funding. We we cannot do extra work for you. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Uh, Jose, Dan McClendon here. In answer to your previous question there, uh, we routinely get a lot of requests for additional uh, driveway pavement beyond the right-of-way uh, up to the garages and so forth and and we are very happy to handle those but as you told the gentleman it has to be arranged between them and us so uh, if he'll check with the crews when they uh, begin the street work we'll be glad to discuss the work and give them uh, the best prices that we can you know give them so just wanted to know that thank you dan You're welcome. Anybody else have any other questions or comments? For more information on the project, uh, as I'm showing on the screen, you can go to the city's website and on there, th we update this uh, monthly where you can get updates as, you know, if you're at the north end of the project, you you'll see almost nothing near your house until utility work gets up that way. Since the contractors selected to go from south to north, uh, this will give you, we can give you more current information on our website. You can also go to fortworthtexas.gov and enter the contract number, which is 102976 in the search bar, and it'll bring you right to the site. Contact information. Uh, for the project, my contact information is there. I'm your project manager. My inspector, he's also on, on the call. Uh, his name is Oscar. He'll be handling 
he'll be my eyes and ears in the field for day-to-day -day activity with the contractor. I do plan on being out on the site. Um, I'm just because I'm on the site doesn't mean I'll be. You'll see me every day or every other week. Some some of the stuff that I do is just to go out and check to see where where activities are at and it doesn't always require that I get with uh, the, the inspector or the contractor. And I will be having, for, it doesn't mean I won't be meeting with the contractor. I will be having formal meetings with the contractor to get formal updates uh, so I can inform the public where we are, where we stand, and if construction activities ahead of schedule or there's little delays here and there. Um, that way we can keep you updated as to more closely as to where you live, how you'll be affected. Okay, could you give me that uh, Fort Worth uh, website again for the project? Yes. I just got the Fort Worth part. I didn't get the, last, the second part of it. I have it up on the slide. Well, I'm, I'm, on the, I'm on the cell phone. Oh, I got you. Um, yes, if you go to fortworthtexas.gov and in the search search bar, type in the, okay. the project number 102976. Okay. 102976, okay. And this will bring you, bring you to where you need to so you can get the product current project information. It's up and running right now, so you should be able to find something. Well, okay, thank you. You're welcome. I see we have an, another individual that popped in. Do, is there any questions? I know you came in late. There we go. Well, that's all I have. If there's no other questions, uh, um, there's another call in, uh, user that came in, uh, I've already gone through the presentation. Uh, is there a specific area where you live? And I could probably give you more highlight detail or I, could, or I can go through the presentation again for you. Uh, you're still muted, so I, I can't hear anything that you would be saying. That's all I have for my presentation, uh, Mary. Uh, my, is there anything you, you'd like to add? No, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mary. Dan or Oscar, anything else you'd care to add? Look forward to doing the project for the city and, uh, if anyone has any questions, they can contact our office uh, anytime. Thanks. Thank you, Dan. Max or Brian, uh, I I didn't introduce you, but our our consultant on the projects also on the line. Um, Max or Brian, do you have anything to add or comment on? I do not, Brian. Do you have anything? No, I have nothing either. All right. Well, this concludes my presentation. Thank you, everybody. Bye. -bye.